Whether they're good here, a little, still a little toasty. <laughs> yeah, a little steamy. Just minimizing it. You know, it rained a little bit here in Brookside. Did you feel what it felt like after oh, after the rain ended? I mean, it yeah. was absolutely a little steamy. A soup can. Yeah, yeah it really was. <laughs> Take a look at a live picture here from Copacabana Beach. A nice onshore flow. The tide is up, but still, folks are out partying. It's an all-night party in Rio de Janeiro. It looks like it's very comfortable. Temperatures probably in the low six or uh, low seventies, maybe upper sixties there tonight and tomorrow morning the events get underway in fact cycling will get underway but uh, in the morning it'll be 70 degrees and this is a medal event for the cycling and then at three o'clock in the afternoon the united states women's soccer team takes on france a little warm for that event around 80 degrees with lots of sunshine all right we're taking a look here at a time lapse from uh, south tulsa and just take a look at this we had a few showers and thunderstorms that formed up to the north of the of downtown tulsa and you can see that little rain shaft that just kind of raced through on the right hand part of the screen and then those showers and thunderstorms faded away and we had a, a beautiful sunset. In fact, take a look at this. This is Jupiter and the moon showing up. They were in transit together as they set earlier in this evening. Uh, this was one chance to see this tomorrow night. Uh, Jupiter will still be up at the moon. We'll have set, but you can see five planets tomorrow night. We'll talk about that in just a second. Sherry Eschbach, how about this picture from Midtown Tulsa? The sun reflecting off of some thunderstorms that were over uh, Midtown Tulsa and down to the south. And then Derek Massengill was out in Coweta when this thunderstorm produced a heavy downpour. It sat around there and rained very hard for about a half hour and then finally fell apart. This is what I'm tracking tonight. This disturbance here that's moving in from the panhandle and you'll see that it's kind of going around the edge of the heat. And so that means it's going to head right through Ponca City toward Bartlesville and Tulsa. So overnight tonight, Ponca City up to the northwest in about a, a couple of hours. We'll see showers and thunderstorms gather and then move through here all the way down to Okmulgee just to the north of Muskogee. Showers, thunderstorms, first part of the day. They're out of here for the afternoon. Notice how much sunshine we have down here to the south. This is where the heat advisory is in effect. With the cloud cover to the north, it keeps us out of that heat advisory. And our high temperature tomorrow may end up in the mid-90s. And there's a chance in Tulsa it could end up in the low 90s. Then Sunday morning, watch this thunderstorm complex. This makes a run at us, but falls apart before it gets here. So maybe just a few sprinkles Sunday morning, then it's back to sunshine. Tomorrow night, 45 minutes after sunset in the south to west sky, five planets lining up, Saturn, Mars, Jupiter, Mercury, Venus. You can see them, plus the Earth, so I guess that's really six that you could see if you look down at the Earth. 99 degrees, the high today, 80 this morning, 94 and 73 the averages, so it's been pretty warm. In fact, this is the third day that we've hit 99 degrees, and of course, we've been above 106 times so far this summer. Right now, outside 87 degrees, east-northeast winds at 6 miles an hour. It still feels like it's 94. Shadow Mountain, 84 degrees with a warm, toasty night. A little cooler, though, I guess, there. Uh, rain overnight tonight moves in mainly from the north, but then descends down into Tulsa during the morning hours. So we'll put the best chance of rain up to the north. Lows around 74 in Talala, 72 in Tahlequah, 74 in Okmulgee with some rain possible as far south as Shakota. And then the forecast for tomorrow will get rid of those early showers and thunderstorms in the morning up through about 9 to 10 o'clock, warm and humid by the noon hour. And it will be 94 to 95 in the Tulsa area, but it will be hotter to the south. And that's where that heat advisory is in effect again. Oak Fusky County, Oak Mulgee, or I should say Muskogee County, and then uh, down to the south, Pittsburgh, Haskell County, Latimer County, those areas there. So watch out for heat indices in about the 104 to 108 range in those parts of the uh, state. And then we're back to 100 degrees for all of us next week. Of course we are. Well, nice to see the rain tonight and a little bit next week maybe. Yeah.